New at 10, a small gathering in Union City tonight where a man was shot and killed in his car just 24 hours earlier. Tonight, family members say the victim was a loving father who couldn't have been the target here. KTV's Janet Katsuyama joining us live tonight from Union City where she spoke to police and the man's family. Jana. Well, Alex, police tonight said that uh, the, that victim, Terrell Martin, uh, it appeared that he might have been targeted, but they don't know why. And so that's why tonight they are asking the public for any help they might have, surveillance video, ring video, or any eyewitnesses to contact the police so that they can try and get some answers for Martin's family. At dusk, neighbors brought out candles lighting the spot where 35-year-old Terrell Orlando Martin lost his life. Terrell was a great man, father, uh, no, never had his hands in anything. Freddie Williams is an Oakland police officer and said he was shocked to hear his cousin Terrell had been gunned down Sunday night in Union City. He said Martin was a man who loved his children and family. I'm just going to miss his smile and his attitude of life and just how much of a loving person he was. William said his cousin had just returned from a child's birthday party. Union City Police said they got a call about 8.25 p.m. Sunday. And when they arrived at the scene on 7th Street near H Street, they found a car riddled with bullets and Martin in the driver's seat bleeding. I just heard a bunch of gunfire, like rapid fire. Ron Garcia says he lives nearby and ran outside minutes later. And seen a car parked over there with about 35 bullet holes out from the front tire to the back tire. It could have hit anybody that lived along this side of the street. Jaime Patino is a Union City Council member who lives nearby. He says one house was hit by a bullet. There's a bullet in the window. Uh, the family was there at the time and they were watching TV. We cannot have these people on the loose. They are, they are a danger to, to the whole all communities right now because they, they recklessly fired at this guy and could have easily killed many other people. Union City Police say the neighborhood is not a high crime area. This was a little bit surprising even to us uh, for, for our officers. Judging by the number of rounds that hit the, the vehicle itself as well as the victim, um, that that was the intended target. William says this is the second time his cousin's family has lost someone in a shooting. His brother who was murdered in Stockton in a car from a mistaken identity. So my family, my grandparents have just lost a lot of children due to gun violence. And there is a GoFundMe page to raise money for his children as well as the family to help with expenses. Now back here live at uh, the Union City Police Department, I spoke with one of the sergeants who said that right now they do believe that multiple weapons might have been used in this case. They are hoping to get some tips so that they can try and find the shooter. Yes, hopefully people come forward with information. Janet Katsuyama, live in Union City. Thank you.